first question says, find a shape that is mathematically similar to B. So if you look at all of these shapes, the shapes that I would shortlist to be similar to B are H and F. But there's only one shape that is mathematically similar to B, and that is shape F. The reason that shape F is the one that's mathematically similar is that if you look at shape B, shape B has two boxes horizontally and one vertically. So if we compare that shape H, shape H has four boxes horizontally, which means that a scale factor has been used. But the scale factor of four has only been used on the horizontal length, not on the vertical length, which takes H out of our options. Now, if we look at F, one, two, three, four, four boxes over here and two boxes over here, which means the scale factor has been properly used over here because both the lengths change, not just one. Hence, shape F is the mathematically similar shape to B. Next question says, express 20 pence as a fraction of five pounds. Now, one pound is equal to 100 pence. That means five pounds will be 100 times five, which is 500. So the fraction will be 20 over 500. Cancel out the zeros. 2 over 50 is 1 over 25. That is your answer. In the next part, it says write 0 0.065 is a fraction. 0 0.065 is basically 65 over 1000. Why? Because we move the decimal 1, 2, 3 places to the right. The number of places you move the decimal that many zeros you add in the denominator. And the reason why it's thousand and not like three zeros, because every number has a denominator of one, whether it's a whole number or a decimal. So with the one, you attach the three zeros. So from one, it turns into a thousand. So we have 65 over thousand, and 65 over thousand is simplified to 13 over 200. That's the final answer. Next question says there are only blue and red sweets in the back. The ratio of blue sweets to red sweets is five is to three. What fraction of the sweets are red? So for red, we will do three over five plus three. The denominator always shows the total of the numbers in the ratio and the numerator shows the quantity that we're talking about which is red sweets over here. So 3 over 5 plus 3, which is 3 over 8. That is a fraction of sweets, which are red. Next question says, we will not rise for 4 hours. The average speed is 5.5 miles per hour. How far does Fiona drive? Distance has the formula of Average speed multiplied by time. Average speed over here is 25.5 miles per hour and time is 4. So we multiply both the quantities and what we get is 102 miles as the distance. Next question says A by styling her bathroom wall. The wall is 6 meters by 3 meters. Each square tile is 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters. Each tile costs four bucks. Calculate the cost of tiling the wall. So if the tile is 50 by 50, let's find the area of the tile. That's going to be 50 times 50. And that's basically 2,500 centimeters per. So now I'm going to convert the meters into centimeters because that's easier. You can also do centimeters to meters. That was fine. This is going to be 300 centimeters and this is going to be 600 centimeters. So now we find area of the wall. Just going to be 300 times 600. And that's basically 180,000 centimeters squared. 
Now that we have the area of the wall and the area of the tile, when we divide the two, we get the number of tiles used. So the number of tiles is going to be 180,000 divided by 2500, and that equals to 72 tiles. So now to find the cost of tiling the wall, cost is going to be 72, which is the number of tiles, multiplied by the cost of one tile, which is four. So 72 times four is 288 pounds, which is the total cost of tiling the wall.